Right, hi guys. I said I wasn't going to do any videos till the place. I've sorted everything out, but I needed to, guys. And because of the simple fact is someone has done me into avatar saying about my videos, saying I had a party at the weekend. Um, excuse me, you know fucking damn well what party it was. It was for my late husband. I don't know who you are or what you're doing to me. It's just sick. It's sick in the mind what you were doing to me. I've just lost my husband a year ago, guys. I'm trying to come back slowly and I don't know if I can do it anymore. How much more can I take? How much more can I take of this bullying, this verbal abuse, this stalking business? How much more? I'm just coming off the internet because I've had enough, guys. I have seriously have had enough. Because <clears throat> I just finished that course at 10 o'clock, after 10 o'clock. Went down to Sins of Rice Bureau. I am trying to fight for my appeal. And basically, someone dubbed me into Avatar, saying about my party videos, saying I had a party at the weekend. Uh, they will not... Give me the name or the person who rang them up. They won't give me a woman or a man when I am entitled to know about it. Um, so even the police have said that to me. I am entitled for it. I'm just really stressed, guys. I'm really upset. Uh. I just don't know what to do anymore. I really don't. But fuck it. I am going out for the day. There's nothing wrong with my videos. All I do is just sit and talk. Show you my parties. What everybody wants to see. Going out when I'm doing my day vlogging. Doing my dancing videos. There's nothing wrong with it. Every fucking YouTuber does it. Not every fucking YouTuber. But some YouTubers do do it. And I'm fucking sick. I'm not well, guys. I'm not well in the head. And what you lot, what people are doing to me, is bang out of order. I'm just trying to get my life back on track. I'm trying to be with Andrew. Back on track. And all this is happening. I just rang the police about an hour ago. It's, and I'm still waiting for him. I don't want to end up losing my money because of this. My videos are my hobby. And it's my spare time what I do. It helps me to stop doing something. Helps me to stop going fucking crazy. Well, where people are pushing me, they're going to end up me going fucking crazy. Because Amphitar wanted me to go down and talk about it. I said, look, no, I'm not going to go down there and talk about it because I'll end up kicking off, which I would because I was in a serious bad mood. I'll end up kicking myself off and end up getting bloody arrested. Which I know I would. Shit. And you know I would, guys. Because I'll end up smashing the bloody place. Oh, but guys would love me for that, wouldn't they? They would really love me getting fucking locked up. So I think you could say fucking Andrew.
You know, my son is really getting sick and tired of all this. This is why he's not coming over to see me as much. Because of all the fucking trouble. He's even said that the other day. When he came over. He wants me to be happy with Andrew. People aren't letting me. People have to dob me in. They dobbed me into the council. Now they're dobbing me into the Antifa. I just don't get this. I don't know what I've done wrong. I don't know what I've done wrong to upset this person or done anything. If I could, I would change back everything. It's just not fair, guys. It's really not fair. Life is cruel. I even said to Avatar, I was getting stronger every day. I was coming back. But if I've got to go out to these other courses, how am I supposed to do this course? I just want to make some new friends. You friends I have <laughs> love and cherish and I haven't got any <laughs> I haven't got any friends. <sighs> Cause they're all little backstabbers and they all just use me. Dougie was right. Everybody's changed since our Dougie's left. I'm just waiting for on the police when they turn up. They know I'm very upset about it all. Because I'm worried about my state of mind. I'm worried what's going to happen. And I don't want to end up in hospital again. And that was the most scariest experience I've ever been through. <laughs> And nobody wants to see me like that. Nobody wants to see me like this. And people say, be happy, be strong. Just keep staying strong. How can you? When life is cruel. I struggle today walking down there. But I wanted to walk because I thought it was a nice day and I'm walking it and I got there a little bit quicker than I was there a bit earlier. I don't like crying in front of people. I like crying on my own, in my own space, in my own world. Because if I cry in front of Andrew, it makes him upset. And I don't want him upset. I know it sounds daft, but that's that's the way I am. And it gets other people upset because people think I'm so strong and I'm a strong lady. But I don't know if I'm strong at guys anymore. I really don't. Just want everything to stop. Everything to stop. <sighs> this is why my son can't live with me. Because of the way I am and the way people cause trouble towards me. And it wouldn't be fair on my son. Because of my past. Now, this is why my son can't live with me.
because I had trouble then. If I had the money, I'd say I would live out of town. I would really would. But we've got family here. We've got so-called friends here. Right, guys, I'm going to have to go in case the police turn up. I'm really sorry about this. I'm really sorry. I've just had a really bad day. I love you guys. Be cool. Bells. Bells. One, two, one.